this were there. Oh gosh, I've almost got on my de on my uh, other way craft mat in view as well. Okay, now if nobody arrives, I know you're all sat out in the sun or trying to get some chores and jobs done um, before it gets too hot. Oh, hello, Christine. Thank you for joining me. Um, I do hope it is not too hot where you are this morning. Um, I am melting here, literally. It is horrendously. Oh, I found a, a stem under my uh, craft mat. Um, it is horrendously hot here. But hey, we complain when it's cold, complain when it's hot. Let's have a look. Hello, Gail. Hello, Natalia. Thank you for joining this morning. Um, so, so hot here. My um, hair doesn't do things like ponytails, but this morning I've had to put it in a ponytail. It's that hot. <laughs> Anyway, um, we'll see how things go this morning. I remember last year when it was quite hot that I had trouble with my phone overheating because as I keep telling you all, my craft space is kind of in, not the roof as such, but in um, it's got a velux um, on the ceiling and it's a bit hot. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Gail. Oh, I've said Gail, sorry, I thought you were the other Gail for a moment. Depending on how things go, I might just do one card this morning. We'll see how quickly I get through the first one. Yes, Natalia, I am so looking forward to Thursday and Friday when it is going to cool down a little bit. And I think by Saturday here in Yorkshire, we have some rain forecast. Good morning, Jane. So um, let's make the most of the sunshine whilst it's here anyway. Okay. I think at the end of my live last week I gave you a little sneaky idea as to what I was doing today and I am going to be using um, old packaging um, to make well at least one maybe two cards um, we all there are so many papers out there there are so many dyes stamps inks whatever we are spoiled for choice in terms of crafting items that we can buy but I thought um, well it was actually prompted quite some time ago by a card Wendy Jackson made and she posted it over on Creative Minds Kind Hearts and she'd used some wrapping from inside biscuits I think it was and some other um, cardboard type of things hello Gail oh gosh my husband's watching he can go away right now um, so I've collected some waste packaging and I am going to use waste packaging today. He's still watching, he's supposed to be doing the gardening. So, for goodness knows how long, I have been collecting all sorts of bits and pieces and I'm going to be using some of these today. Um, I have bright lime green corrugated cardboard and I also have it in white and I have it in like um, a lilac, pale purple, lavender colour. And all of these bits came out of perfume bottle packaging. You know the boxes that you get your perfume in these days? Good morning, Anne. Good morning, Diana. Um, I cut the pieces up and I have used them before. Um, I'm trying to think. I think it was Liz, Cav Liz Cavill that um, I sent a card to using some of these. I also have corrugated white paper looks like it might have come out of a box of chocolates and I have much thinner corrugated paper which came out of biscuits um, the biscuits similar to ones we get on holiday but they're called oh gosh I can't think what they are the two plain biscuits with chocolate cream in the middle and they have that packaging inside so that's some of the types of packaging I'm using and then more recently I've noticed that tissue boxes come quite nicely patterned and I've got a couple of different tissue boxes in there um, that I've been saving um, along with um, some Clinique moisturiser card I've got enough there to make some leaves and stems so all sorts of day-to-day -day things that you can use in your card making and this, this is a really nice one um, this box um, Amy got um, last week with a, a book subscription and I just love the colours on here um, and I think that will be very useful 
at some point. So I am going to make a card today. I've got a blank 6x6 craft card and this along with some purple jute string are the only two things that are new today that I'm using, okay, that I've bought, paid for. I'm going to start off with what is a roll of corrugated, not quite corrugated, it's got dimply squares on it and this is packaging that came in a candle that we got recently and I am going to use some of that as the basic mat on my card. So I'm going to very, oh gosh it doesn't tear very easily, I'm going to very quickly and roughly make it into a slightly smaller square. Let's have a look. Good morning Bernadette. Hi Shelley, how are you doing? Great to see you here. I would imagine it's hotter in Spain than it is here. So I'll quit complaining about the heat. Okay, not quite square yet, but I'm not too fussed about it being perfect. Okay. That will be fine for the background. Um, for my next layer, I took some of that corrugated biscuit wrapper and I've used one of the Lisa Horton nested and scalloped square dies and that's going to layer up nicely on top of there. I've also used some of the Lisa Horton large foliage dies and I've cut out of some of that candle packaging again, the brown stuff, um, some of the large leaves. Now they, they are so, so delicate. I need to be careful what I do with those, but you may, oh yes, you can still see, I think there is, um, even though I've run them through the, the big shot and the, with the die, you can still see that there is um, the impression of the knobbly bits on the paper. And then I'm just checking that the light's okay because so I've uh, not got the blind completely down. Let's just have a look. Is that light okay for everybody? I've lost my comments. Oh, Shelley, 35 degrees today. Heck. Good morning, Mary. Okay, I have also used some of that lovely lime green packaging and I've cut out some more bits of the large foliage. The rubbish. And then with the Lisa Horton Build a Bloom dies. I've used three of those and I have cut out oh gosh, these flowers, I think they're gorgeous. The colours are lovely. Um, and for this, I was about to throw this away, but gosh, what a gorgeous turquoise inside. And on the outside, um, it's not necessarily, it's got a little bit of um, a basil type of paper texture to it and a pattern on it and that was um, a Melton Brown home linen mist box that nearly went in the bin, saved at the last minute. So for this I am going to, just with um, one of the Tim Holtz Distress Ink Pads Walnut Stain, I don't have many of these so the same ones get used again and again, I am going to just lightly put the ink pad over there so that all the, the raised knobbly bits get a little bit of ink on okay. and that then is just going to be glued straight onto my card blank. I always wonder um, whether collal is the right sort of thing to use here or whether I should have used, I don't know, some dimensional glue, but I have done this before and the collal did seem to stick it okay. It really doesn't matter obviously if the edges um, aren't stuck down, as long as some of it sticks. Now I'm going to put that on at a bit of a, what Elizabeth would call a jaunty angle. Bit cloudy up in Scotland, Gail. Ooh, lucky you. Okay. My next piece of scrap is going to go yeah again I, I'm going to put it at like the opposite angle so that I'm not having to spend any time at all in terms of 
checking to see if it's central or anything like that. Okay, so next foliage. I am going to place, I think, my flower down there. So what I will do actually is I will just put the flower together first. I am not going to build it up in terms of foam or packaging or anything. I'm just going to put it flat straight onto I would put it straight onto there. I've got glue all over the place now. Okay, just get rid of some of that. Okay. Don't use too much glue when it's hot because it goes everywhere. It's a bit on the runny side today. So my builder bloom there, I've just used alternating colours and I love purple and turquoise together. I think I don't know, is it turquoise? It's a shade of blue. It's I don't know what I'd call it. So I'm going to place then some foliage starting at the bottom right because I know I'm going to cover that up with um, with the flower. Okay, I might just snip a tiny bit off that stem so it doesn't show underneath the flower. Not necessarily that it would matter. Okay. Now I'm going to have to be so careful with this because as I said to you, once it's been through the big shot, this paper is so delicate. So I am going to glue with my Cosmic Shimmer on each of the leaves and just put a couple of tiny bits along the way which hopefully other bits will uh, help to hold it down. Tweezers and this is going to have to go on first time. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so it will stick. I'm quite confident it will all stick in the right places. Let's add a little bit of green foliage. So just check that I'm going to get it so that it's covered up all the stems and the messy bits by the flower. I love the large foliage dies from Lisa Horton. It was one thing that I never really bought, um, like foliage dies. And I used to look at other people's cards and think, oh gosh, they're amazing. Um, but whenever, this was perhaps not me, going back two or three years when we actually um, went into shops, I never actually saw anything that I liked. So I thought, oh yeah, I can see myself using that or somebody else has used it. Um, but when the large foliage dies came out, I just thought I've got to have those. Okay, and then that can go in the corner there. Yeah, again, I'm uh, just going to use the Cosmic Shimmer Glue. It should stick pretty quickly, even though it's so hot outside today. A bit of a press down. Okay, let's have a look and see what's going on. Hello, good for boss materials. I do use it, Mary, yes, on um, most of my Lisa Horton um, embossed card and it always sticks, it's not better. Um, it's not a problem, not a problem at all. Um, oh, Shelley, <laughs> your other half loves those biscuits. We first had them in Spain, so yeah, I can get them here, but they're great. Do I have an adhesive rubber? No, I don't. <laughs> I know that's something again, Mary, that I've looked, I've seen other people use. You look at it, but then when you're buying things, it's like you want the nice things, don't you? You want your papers, you want your card, your inks and your dyes. Um, perhaps I should have a look at buying an adhesive rubber. I don't always make such a mess. Okay, right, final pieces on there. Let's just get rid of my little bits of card before they go everywhere. Um, oh, Sorry, sorry, caught the camera. A little bit of string. Um, I did have some pre-cut purple somewhere. Goodness knows where that's... Oh, it's here, where it's gone. Okay, the string came um, with a flower subscription. Um, the flowers through the post came in a box and they were nicely tied up with string. I have loads of this at the moment. I'm going to take... It's like... Um, double 
thickness it's two lots and um, two pieces of string twined together so I'm going to take that along with a piece of the purple jute string that I like and I'm just going to finish the card off and I'm not very good at this sort of thing I'm going to wrap it around the side of here twice So like I said, everything I've used today has been recycled apart from the card blank and the piece of purple string. Now, I'm not even going to attempt to tie a bow today. It's going to be a knot. And if I snip these off at slightly different lengths, then it just looks a, a little bit more sort of rugged if you like, not precise. That string will of course sort of undo itself a little bit and fray on the edges. I haven't put a sentiment on it. Um, I'm accumulating so many cards at the moment that I'm doing what a lot are doing and adding a sentiment as and when I decide who the person, who it's going to and for what reason. That's just a little bit on the long side. Okay, so first card done um definitely get the rubber okay <laughs> i will do that if you guys are all okay i am going to because it shouldn't take quite as long do another card for you using some different waste packaging just throwing everything on the floor i am going to do or use a five by seven card blank and I'm going to use it um, landscape just bear with me one second I have lost a flower on the floor here we go so that's my base I am again going to use some of the corrugated I have to call it corrugated because I don't know what else to say some of the corrugated paper I have used the Lisa Horton stem die from the large foliage. No, it was from Build a Bloom. No, come on, get this right. It was from. Before I had with little three little leaves on. And I have cut out elements from an empty tissue box okay there's the proof of I mean you can't use every bit of obviously bits that were glued together there's the top for the tissues to come out but I, I looked at this and I just thought oh the colours they're really different I like they're not colours I would normally use um they're not colours I would necessarily buy in a paper pad the type of different okay but I am going to how should I do this it's really raggedy, is this, but let's get rid of the bottom bit. I'm going to have, it's going to be the round. That's it. Okay, there. Okay. I could have done the other one coloured to match the purple, actually. Um, but this one, I want it to look more like, um, maybe it's soil. So I'm going to put that on another one. And it doesn't matter, it, some of it's gone in the valley type of bits of the paper, the debossed bits, but it's okay, it doesn't matter. So that essentially is going to be the soil. I have three of the stems already die cut. I have three flowers. And I have three tiny bits of foliage. Okay. Uh, perhaps, I don't know, my mind would normally say the stems have to be green or the stems have to be brown, but I thought today we're going to do it all in used tissue box. <laughs> okay. Um, so, first things first, can't in, um, glue that down yet because I want to place my stems coming out of the back. So I need to plan this. Pick it up. Fingers and thumbs. 
and I need to make sure that there is enough space there for each of my flowers and I want them to look quite even they don't have to be perfect um, but they'd be better uneven I think they'll I have done one of these before like I said and I think I sent it to Liz Cavill um, but they're reasonably even I mean in nature things aren't even are they I'm going to just mark with a pencil oh gosh they're not even at all the top of each of these stems so that I know where to glue them okay the only thing with using as you'll all know like things like the jute and the twine string is um, you get little bits all over so I'm just again very carefully with small amounts of glue I am now going to position each of the flower stems doesn't take much glue does it to hold these on they're only tiny last one it's here okay um i was going to start off saying this but um as per usual forget what i plan um I know Alison Phillips isn't watching today, but Alison was the Creative Minds Kind Hearts member who very kindly gifted me the papers I used last week. So I need to say a great big happy birthday, Alison, to you today. I think you do often watch on catch up, so uh, happy birthday. I hope you're having a super day. And Jenny Livett, um, Jenny, I know you're not here with us this morning. Um, but Jenny, birthday on the 24th, so happy birthday to Jenny as well. I'm going to stick my soil, call it soil, on the bottom. Just going to get rid of a little bit more of that. Okay. Back with the collal glue. I'm getting very little crafting really done at the moment. I don't know about the rest of you. Um, Christmas cards are still my priority. but too hot at the moment to do any type of crafting during the day really okay. again I'm, I'm going to keep because there's some texture on there I'm not going to um, bend or curl or make any of these flowers um, 3D and pop out of the card I want to just keep it nice and basic if you like it doesn't matter at all which way any of these go it's a lovely shaped flower, isn't it? So, over on Creative Minds Kind Hearts, this card for this month's alphabet challenge will count for the Z, make a card with zero waste. I know it's a bit of a play on the words, but this is the waste and I'm, I'm using the waste, okay? The other card that I made could be um, T, tie on a piece of twine. So I've got two of my cards left there. haven't left much of that stuff. So, right, hopefully the, the phone hasn't quite heated yet, so I'm, I'm going to have to get one of those uh, rubbers, Mary, aren't I? Get rid of that quickly, it's disappeared. Okay, next one. So, after this, I expect you're all going to be having a, a route around your house to have a look and see what sort of packaging you've got, how colourful it is. What you could use it for, how big the coloured pieces are. But I tell you, the tissue box were box of it, as were the empty ones. I think, uh, well, they uh, kept all the boxes from years back. I had to push everything down to go in the recycling bin. I'm thinking, oh, crikey, I could use some of these. Okay. Um, haven't put anything in the middle, have I, at this stage? Um, I think actually because of the pattern in um, in the card, I think I might just leave that like that. Um, again, no sentiment. I might just squeeze um, a hello down here at some point. Um, it's simple. It's easy. 
it might not be everyone's favourite, but in terms of using up your waste packaging, not a bad idea. So, um, K-Craft card. Oh dear, sorry, sorry Gail, if I keep breaking up, um, not sure whether it's because it's so hot here. Anyway, um, that's it for today. Um, hopefully by next week it will be a little bit cooler um because i am doing something uh, different for next week so i hope maybe you can join me oh gems natalia yeah i could yeah put a gem in the middle i could find some gems couldn't i now i've nothing to hand write at the moment so i'm not going to root through my drawers whilst i'm here but um by the time i've finished and popped a photo on later today i might have found some gems to put in the middle so thank you for that tuning in on what is such a hot and uh, sticky day and hope to see you all next week meanwhile enjoy the sunshine whilst it's here okay bye for now